Okay, so this video is on constraint satisfaction problem. So suppose you have to prepare a routine for preschoolers in a kindergarten for use of the music room. There are five sections, A, B, C, D, and E. The school is closed on Friday and Saturday. These are, there are a few rules that must be followed. So those are the rules. Now formulate this problem as a CSP. So first of all, you're going to have to make a CSP out of this. So first of all, you're going to have to like create variables. So the sections are the variables. So you're just going to write variables A, B, C, D, and E. And the days are the domains. So the domains will be since Friday and Saturday are off, so Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. Now you're going to have to like make the constraints. So for the constraints, it's given that the room cannot be used by more than one section on the same day. So basically like you can't use like two sections in one day. So like A, B, C, D, and E have to be on separate days. So you're just gonna write all diff. So all different, all different of the sections. So all different are all the sections or variables or whatever. Now section A can use the music room on Sunday, Tuesday, and uh, Wednesday. So A will be Sunday. Tuesday and Wednesday. Section B, B can use on all days. So B equals all of them. So Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. So section C can use on Tuesdays and Thursdays. Section C can use on Tuesdays and Thursdays. So C equals Tuesday and Thursday. Section D can use on the days that section A is not using. So D equals basically like Sunday, Tuesday, and Wednesday, but whichever one you pick, then either A can't choose it, or if A picks it, then D can't choose it. So basically it's gonna be like D not equals A. And section E can use on the days that section C is not using. So C and E can't be the same, so C not equals E. Now that's done for the CSP. Now draw the constraint graph. You're gonna like draw the constraint graph now. So the way you do it is like, you make nodes. So for each of the variables, so A, B, C, D and E. And you're just gonna like circle all this because they're all nodes. Okay, so you're gonna use the constraints for the constraint graph. So all of them are different. So all the sections are different. You don't have to like do anything here. So A equals Sunday, Tuesday, Wednesday. So this is basically a self constraint. You're just gonna like draw a loop here. B equals Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. So another like self loop here. C equals Tuesdays and Thursdays. So basically just like whatever domain is connected with variables you're just gonna like make a self loop with them okay so here d not equals a so you're just gonna connect these two nodes because they're connected and since they can't be the same you're just gonna like cr like put a line in between them and c not equals e so like c not equals e here okay now show the steps followed by backtracking search algorithm and derive a solution so you're just gonna like make a backtrack algorithm uh, basically just simulation okay you're gonna like make separate columns for each of them so one column for a one column for b one column for c one column for d and another column for e and it is gonna like make a table here first okay so once you're done with that you're just gonna like initialize this thing so in it and you're just gonna like put the put the domains that 
can be inserted into each of the variables. So for A, Sunday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. So Sunday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. B equals Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. So all of them. Uh, okay, so Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. For C is gonna be like Tuesday and Thursday. So Tuesday and Thursday. For D, it's uh, D not equals A. So you're just gonna like put all this, but they can't be the same as A. I'm, I'm gonna get into that later. So Sunday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. And for E, same values as C. So Tuesdays and Thursday. Okay, now you're just gonna like, you, you can either like start from A, or you can just use the variable that has the least amount of domains. So like use the minimum remaining value formula basically. So this one has three domains, this one has five domains, two domains, three domains, and two domains. So let's take C first. Okay, C equals Tuesday. So if I like put Tuesday here and then this will affect E only because C can't be equals to E. So E is gonna be left with just Thursday cause Tuesday is already on C. Now the next one is gonna be like E. So E equals Thursday. So it's gonna be Thursday and this is gonna be Tuesday. Okay, now this Tuesday and Thursday is gonna be like cut out from all these sections cause all the variables have to have different sections. Okay, so Tuesday is here, here and here. And Thursday is like here only. So you're just gonna like cut off T. So Sunday and Wednesday is gonna stay here. Sunday, Monday, Wednesday and Thursday, and here Sunday and Wednesday. And since Thursday is here as well, it's gonna like cut off here as well. So Sunday, Wednesday, Sunday, Monday, Wednesday, Sunday, Wednesday. Now the least, the minimum remaining value is A. So I'm just gonna pick A. A equals Sunday. Now if I pick A as Sunday, then D can't be Sunday, so D is gonna be Wednesday. So next I'm gonna like pick D. So D equals Wednesday. Wednesday here, Sunday, cause like D affects A. So all that's left is the B. So B can be the Sunday, Monday, Wednesday since Monday since Sunday is already here and Wednesday is already here, you are just left with Monday. So therefore like all of them combined is like A for Sunday, B is Monday, C is Tuesday, D is Wednesday and E is Thursday. So yeah, that's it. That's how you like do the backtracking algorithm. Now, if there were some errors, you just like, like put a cross here and it just like go to the previous step if there were errors. But since there aren't any errors, I'm not gonna like show that in this math. I'm gonna show it in another math, which I'll be doing in the next video.